Hi Bum, so ignore the overexposure south facing so and the light I have isn't very good at sort of like counteracting it so you just have to see me look way too pale even though I am way too pale anyway so anyone that knows me um, or is in the catfish community um, online I guess more scientific communities or corridors communities or yeah sort of um, so they might know there's a new species described and this was on the 19th of March the paper was published in a scientific journal known as Biotech and this journal specializes mostly in um, species description so yeah so this uh, species was Corridors bethanae um, and it was the species was previously given the common name CW006 by Cory Dorswell, so that's Ian Fuller, and also the common name the Narciso Cory, and I believe this is related to its similarity um, colour wise to the Cory Narcissus, but it is not Narcissus. Um, and therefore, it now has a proper scientific name. So, Cory Bethany was described by me, Stephen Grant and Dr. Louise uh, Tenkat and I'm probably pronouncing it really badly wrong. And this was using um, museum specimens at Natural History Museum in London and also aquarium specimens and some other collections. And I'm really uh, grateful for being involved in this research. Corridors uh, Bethany is in the Corridors Lineage 8 and it, this lineage is separated from other lineages as there is serrations on the posterior margin of the dorsal fin spine. The only similar species in lineage 8 is Corridos arcturus and this is the true arcturus not Corridos granti which is a much smaller less elongated um, uh, sort of oh, what's it? it less elongated nose it's um, uh, Corridors granti is compared to Corridors arcturus, which is a much bigger fish. And that species was described, I believe, last year. I've got the paper down there. Oh. Ah, so, yeah, so this is in the Journal of Fish Biology. So this is the original description of Corridors granti, granti, uh, grantii, and it separates uh, Corridors granti, granti from uh, Corridors arcturus and other similar species. So Corridos granti is probably the species you'll see most commonly sold as uh, the skunk cory or Corridorus um, uh, arcturus, even though it's not. So this is the original description of this species and I actually use this um, to help me a little bit with some of the morphometrics. Um, so I found that paper really useful in some of the details on it. And anyway, um, so Corridor's Grant is actually named after Stephen Grant, who was involved in the description of this species. And Corridor's Bethany is actually named after his daughter. There is also a few other Corridor's that he's named after other people. So, so Corridor's Grant, um, so Corridor's uh, Bethany is most similar to Corridor's Arcturus, as I've said. And this is due to that black stripe going across the body that you're seeing Corridorus arcturus and Corridorus bethanae. I find it quite easy to separate them um, if you're looking at someone that's maybe not so scientific that Corridorus bethanae has a head pattern that isn't fused. So you'll see above the head there is a line uh, where the, that arch, that black arch, isn't fused. And also the markings below the eye on Corridor's Bethany, it's kind of a little triangle or a mask, so it stops just below the eye in a sort of little triangle shape. Whereas Corridor's Arcturus, this stripe goes all the way down to the corner of the mouth. Corridor's Bethany, as the, one of the common, common names suggests, is actually really similar to Corridor's Narcissus which is rather common in the trade and often mislabeled. Both of them get imported, so when Corridor's Bethany, before its description, 
it used to get imported as Corydos Narcissus, so you'd get both and have to identify which was which, which is kind of um, common with uh, when you're importing fishes, they tend to say like, which is which. <laughs> um, but I find uh, Corydos Narcissus, it has that larger black um, below the eye reaching to the mouth, and it's more, its head is more spoon shaped, it's a different lineage, Corydos Narcissus is lineage 1, um, whereas Corydos Bethany is lineage 8, so Corydos Bethany tends to be, I say it's kind of a bit of a tank like fish, it's very sort of broad, but it's got an elongated snout compared to Narcissus where that snout is more sort of spoon shaped in a way, but not spoon shaped as in sort of other, so it is more curved. So describing a species, this practice is known as taxonomy, in which species are formally given a scientific name, but also a set of characteristics which defines why this is a new species, what makes it a species, and what separates it from other species. It is a type of biology or a study within biology, and I say it goes under evolution but it's more of the creation of the units that we use in evolution, species, genera. Although these are more man-made units, we need them to understand evolution and to say this is different from this. You can't say this is different from this if you don't know what this and this is. Um, and also therefore it's important for conservation. You can't conserve a species if you don't know what it is. Um, so it's really important all around. And this is why describing a species and giving them scientific names is so, well, it's needed. And therefore revision, so you understand, so well, people understand where species place is compared to others. And also it helps understand the processes of evolution and what came first, what's most similar, and why, and the pressures on them. So it identifies those, it was also related to phylogenetics and um, systematics which identifies the relationships between species rather than evolution which is more in general all of it and the processes, it's a lot. <laughs> um, so taxonomists basically name and discover species to put it loosely. Um, in fishes there aren't that many taxonomists, it's kind of a bit of a dying thing even though there are so many species that need to be discovered, uh, well need to be described, so many species yet to be found in all fields, mammals may be less so there's not as many mammals found each year but it's still important to have these people because these people can also identify species, um, say if it was found in an invasive environment say if it's found in just a different environment, they will help identify things and notice changes, maybe notice about fire, notice new features in them, notice where, well, a lot, because they specialise in a taxa. So taxonomists know an awful lot about a group of organisms, not just the names, anatomic details, how to diagnose them, and this tends to be very niche, um, so most people specialise in say a family, uh, maybe a genus if that genus is really large, stuff like that. So the familiarity with scientific processes as well, how to write a scientific paper. So really a lot of people, will, well a lot of taxonomists will have a degree in biology, a master's, um, if lucky a PhD. And it's all about the details, it's a very fine sort of study, very fine art and there's few funding opportunities they do it and we do it for the love of the species, of the study and there's not many jobs so I'm personally on the search for a doctorate um, studying hopefully the evolution of ideally siluriforms which is catfishes and most ideal for me would be Laurel Cardae although this is really difficult to find Taxonomy for me is more of a side part of my studies because it doesn't really, there's not really any jobs really in it in fish and that's why I specialise in. Maybe in marine fishes there's a bit more but I don't do marines at all. Taxonomy for me, yeah, is a side part and it will involve travelling so 
hopefully eventually I can go back to South America, um, Brazil, Peru or something like that. And realistically I need to do this because I will need wild caught specimens with locality and aquarium specimens aren't always great with this and it's related to the biogeography of this, um, identifying and classifying species but aquarium specimens, uh, fishermen can lie, they don't always want to reveal where they caught a fish because other people might catch it and they'll lose money out on that. So, yeah, so there's also sort of a bit of issues of importing for scientific studies. So really I'll have to see where I go and it will be a lot of change in the next few years I hope um, because I finished my masters at the end of this year and yeah so anyway um so it's probably a bit of a long brief video i'm not sure um but anyway thank you for watching and i'll talk to everyone soon and i'm happy to reply to comments ideally i prefer people to actually if people have questions to do it on um my facebook groups just because i'm on facebook more um generally i'm always on facebook so Anyway, uh, thank you for watching.